Hi, it's Darren with Smartsheet Guru. I wanted to share the exciting new function that Smartsheet has just released. It is the time function. It's been long awaited for Smartsheet to make it easier to work with time in Sheets. I have an example sheet here set up and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense from a functional standpoint, but I wanted to show the functionality here. So you get an idea of what you can do with the time function. There's more with it that you can do than what I show here, but this should be a good little sample to get you started. I have here the created and modified system columns. And in these columns, I'm extracting the time using the time function. And it's very simple to do. You use the time function here and inside you put the write function with the system column comma eight to indicate that the time is takes up eight characters from the right. And it extracts that and creates a time in the cell here. Same with the modified time. Now I have two columns here, start time and end time. And these are just text, nothing special about them. But here in this start time 12 hour, I have the time function and it is taking the value from the start time column and converting it into a time in Smartsheet. The zero here indicates that the time will be shown in 12 hour format. And the two here indicates it will show in hour and minutes. Now let me show the same start time, but in 24 hour time, you'll notice here I have a one in the second position, indicating the time should be shown in 24 hour format. And if I were to put a one here, it would show just the hour. The two shows hour and minutes, and the three will show hour, minutes, and seconds. And so you'll see for the end time for five o'clock PM, it has converted that into 1700 for the 24 hour time representation. You can calculate the difference in time by subtracting the time here, say the start time from the end time, and you are given a decimal, and the decimal is in terms of 24 hours. So a one would be 24 hours, and a zero would be zero, and a 0.5 would be 12 hours. So to get the time difference in whole hours, simply multiply that time difference times 24, and I am concatenating the word hours to give the word hours behind it. Now you'll notice on this line here, I don't have a start and end time. So what I did is I created the time directly in the function by indicating the hour, minutes, and seconds. And then I indicated zero for 12 hour time and the two for hours and minutes. In this row, I show an example of hours, minutes, and seconds along with the time of day. So this is entered as a string, 7.30 and 15 seconds AM. And I have the three there to indicate I want the seconds to show. Now, since we calculate the time difference, we can show this in terms of hours and minutes. And I use this formula here. Uh, there's there's many different ways that you could calculate this. And I can think of some ways that might be a little simpler than this, but uh, this is the way that I've done it for this example. And you can also add time. So you'll see here, I have a column minutes to add. And this column here is taking the time in this cell and adding five minutes. If I change that to, let's say six minutes, you'll see it goes 8.06 AM. So here's just another example, adding seven minutes. This one's adding 10 minutes. And if I were to add 10 and a half minutes, you'll see it also adds 30 seconds. So you can put fractions of a minute in here and have it reflected in the time as well. So I hope this little brief overview of the time function smart sheet is helpful helps give you some ideas. And if you're looking for more tips, I invite you to go sign up at smartsheetguru.com slash time. I'll send you my seven tips. And as I work with this time function more, I'll be sending more tips out about this as well. Thanks for watching.